You there. Can you hear me? <laughs> it's as I feared. They're slowing us down. Do not say that. Not all of us are here for love of battle. He fights to defend his homeland. <laughs> Your name? Rex, sir. My name's Rex. Good. Rex. You bore a few cuts, but you are still whole. Well, can you stand? <clears throat> Think you can fight? I'm fine, sir. How old are you, Rex? Seventeen, sir. Captain? What'd you say? Uh, sir, you haven't paid, and I... What? Haven't paid? Oh. Uh, uh, second thought. Please, sir, take it. It's a gift. Leave the poor sod, B. We don't want trouble today. Your luck, peddler. <sighs> what? Hey, that's mine. What do you mean, yours? You've been stealing again. What happens if they catch you? We need you to be there for us, Vaughn. You're no good to anyone if you're locked away in a dungeon. Oh, what? Am I the leader now? There you are, Kites. Stop loafing around. Look, Vaughn, look! This is mm. it! This is why Miguelo's courier didn't get here on time.
You there, let's see some papers, boy. No public passage on account of the Lord Consul's parade. Oh, gee, that's too bad. You see, it just so happens that your provisioner for the fate tonight, he sent me to pick up a few choice morsels for the uh, Consul's dining pleasure. He wants them quick. I got the writ of transit right here. You see? Signed, Magello. I just hate to see the Consul upset because his food wasn't ready on time. And I sure hate to see him take it out on you. The Lord Consul is a great man. I not one to take offense in such uh, trifling matters. Wouldn't do to keep the consul waiting. Right, gates are closed after this.
Albana lilies? Never thought I'd see him growing out here. This will make a nice souvenir. Time to call it a day. <laughs>